Hello guys, welcome to a new easy tutorial video. Today I will show you how to create a glitch effect in Adobe After Effects. To be able to do this, you need this glitch footage video which is free to download online. You can find the download link in the description so you can get it. Ok, so let's start by importing our logo and the glitch footage in our project. Now create a new composition with these settings, 1280 by 720 pixels, and 30 frames per second. Drag and drop your footage into the new composition and put the glitch video on top of your logo. Uncheck these two boxes to make the glitch footage invisible. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Open your effects and presets panel, and type in, displacement. Select the displacement map effect and drag it on the adjustment layer. Now select the glitch video footage from this drop down menu, and let's play a little with the horizontal and vertical displacement values. As you can see the glitch effect is almost ready. To make it look better, select the adjustment layer and trim it down to 15 frames, less or more. Then duplicate the adjustment layer a couple of times and place the new layers random on the timeline. Select each new layer and adjust the horizontal and vertical displacement values, to give a random appearance to our effect. This is how it looks now. Next we have to duplicate two times our logo, by clicking Ctrl D, and rename the logo layers, red, blue and green. Type, Levels in the Effects and Presets panel, then select, Levels Individual Controls from the list and apply it to each of the logo layers individually. Now select the red layer, and in the Levels Individual Control panel change these values to 0 for green and blue color. Next select the blue layer, and change to 0 the values for red and green color. And finally select the green layer and change to 0 the values for red and blue color. Change the blending mode for the blue and green layers to, screen. Create a new null object. Apply the slider effect on it. Rename this new layer to, glitch. Select the red layer and hit P for position. Now hold Alt button pressed and click on the Positions stopwatch to open the Expressions field. Type in this field, wiggle, bracket, 10, comma, then grab the Pickwick tool and drag it onto the slider control from up here. Don't forget to close the expression with an end bracket. Now let's change the slider value to 40 and see what happens. As you can see, the glitch effect is almost perfect. We only have to create a couple of keyframes to make it look better. Click this stopwatch to create a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Then hit U to see our keyframes. Create a couple more keyframes like you see in this example. Now select all these keyframes and hit F9 to ease them. Let's see our final result. This was my tutorial about the glitch effect. Don't forget to hit the like button, share the video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.